it's Alexia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you, but I'm a teenage girl and my room is never clean. Like, ever. It's, ne it's never clean. It just doesn't happen. I don't know, like I'm busy and then stuff gets thrown all around in my room and I don't have the chance to clean it. For once, my room is actually clean, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to film a room tour. So, I'm not gonna say this video has been highly requested. I literally have like two subscribers. Just a quick disclaimer, I know I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm not trying to brag about anything I have in my room. A few years ago, my house caught on fire, so this house is fairly new. A lot of the stuff in my room is very new, so I am not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. With that being said, let's get into the video. So when you walk into my house, you come across this little corner over here, and this is my room. That's my brother's room. So when you first walk in, this is what it looks like. So I'll just start right here. This is my Dancing with the Stars wall. I take lots of pride in this wall. If you don't know what that is, it's like a hit TV show that I'm obsessed with. So I've dreamed of meeting the cast of this show for so long. Meeting Val and the rest of the cast was like a dream come true. When I was taking these pictures were some of the best moments I've ever had in my life. So I like to keep these by my light switch just to remind me that life is good. Next to the photos, when you close the door, I have that cute little dream catcher thing. <laughs> Next to that, I just keep my glasses. It's like a double-decker display of glasses. Now we'll move to the bed section of my room. So, this is my bed, <laughs> obviously. I keep some stuffed animals on there, but I do switch them out with my other stuffed animals because, you know, they get lonely. As you can see, we have Thumper, Tinkerbell, and my teddy bear just chilling over here. I have this really fluffy llama pillow. I have some cute wall decor. Then by my bed, I have an icon. I charge my phone here. I have a clock, which changes colors. Super fun. I keep hand lotion and Vaseline here because I always like to moisturize my lips and my hands before I go to bed. I just have a coaster for my water bottle. Once again, we have more Dance with the Stars stuff, so my pup-up made this for me. Like I said earlier, meeting Val for the first time was like the best moment of my entire life. When I went VIP at the show, I was able to get him to sign my shirt and they signed my phone cases and it was just an amazing experience good things. I also just have some cute little wall paintings over here. Now moving over here, this is where I like to keep my dance bag, my competition bag, and my gym, yep, my gym bag back there. Now you come to this little section over here. I keep my pajamas and shorts and leggings and sweatpants in there, and I have a bunch of random stuff up here that I'll go through quickly. This board right here says she believed she could, so she did. I just made this at this like little craft thing. I also keep this mason jar here. So as a teen, you know, like fake depression is like a thing. So something I started doing this year is writing down all the little things that make me happy during the day or that I thought were funny and I want to remember them. I also stick random things like pictures and a kazoo in here. Then when I'm all old, I can just look at all the memories and oh, life was so good. Now I have a candle. I don't burn it, but it smells like Moroccan oil, which is like the best scent in the world. Now. Two Christmases ago, I believe my mom got this for me. <laughs> she put my face on Ginger Z, and that's Val. And then on the back, that's how she surprised me that we were going VIP. My friend made this for me, and it has a bunch of pictures of us going to New York. That picture, I look like I'm crying because I literally stabbed myself in the eye, but we won't get into that. Now, ooh, I should turn on my lights. Hold on. Much better. Okay. Now we come over here, I have this little mirror that lights up, very cute. Now, you may wonder, Alexia, why do you have so many llamas and alpacas? To be honest, I couldn't tell you why I have so many of these little furry creatures. What I do know is that I went through a very short llama phase, maybe like a month or two. I don't know if you guys know the llama song guy, Issa Twames, but basically I went through a phase where I was obsessed with him. So I was like, he likes llamas, I should like llamas, there we go. So then all of a sudden for gifts, people just started getting me llamas, even though I was like out of my llama phase, but not complaining. So we have this one here. This is my Christmas llama. This is a baby llama. This one, another Christmas llama. This one was in the house fire, but somehow someone was able to save it. So it's a little ashy, but still cute. Also a very fitting sign it says save the drama for your llama. All right, oh, okay. Over here I have jewelry. I keep like my nicer jewelry up here and then I have like random stuff back here like hoops, low kai bracelets, like dance competition pins, things of that sort. Now you come over here and I have my ring light which I use for my makeup videos. Perfect segue, if you don't follow my makeup account you definitely should. It's at Alexia's makeup underscore on Instagram. And when I do film makeup videos for YouTube I will probably use this contraption here. 
And I also have to make a business, so when I get invited to people's houses, I would bring this chair with me. Now we have this little corner over here. I think this is like my favorite corner of the room. It just looks so like aesthetic and cute. Also, when we bought the house, I built that lamp all by myself. I was so proud. Next, we come over here and we have some records. No, I don't have a record player. Why do you have records if you don't own a record player? Well, I got a record player from Urban Outfitters. It broke. I bought another one. That one broke too, so I just kind of, I just kind of gave up. But you know, I still have the records, so not complaining. So I just have records from some of my favorite artists like Shawn Mendes, Fifth Harmony. Oh, I have some Disney ones here like Moana and Beauty and the Beast and my boy JB. Lastly, I'll just take you in the closet because this is where I keep all of my stuffed animals. Yes, I know. There are so many of them. I also keep blankets up there. And I have my clothes here. My Justin Bieber calendar from last year is in here. I need to switch that out with something. So that's basically my room. I'm going to take you into the bathroom now because it is connected to my room. So I have a Jack and Jill bedroom. So basically we could have turned that into another bedroom, but it's like a hangout room. So this is my bathroom. So when you first walk in, you see my sink, very messy, but I just keep obviously toothbrush, like lotion, Listerine. I got my second ear piercing, so this I just put on it so it doesn't get infected. Some face wash, my face brush. In this cabinet, in this drawer, I just keep like hairbrushes and things that I use in the morning to help me get ready. Now we come over here and I have a little mirror there, a big mirror there. Some dirty makeup brushes that I should probably clean. All right, so this I got for Christmas. It's a chapstick, but I put it on display. These are from a little boutique and I don't really know why I bought them. Someone talked me into it, but they're super cute. This little bunny's ear sadly fell off, but we're gonna fix him soon. There, there, buddy. I did not just pet a ceramic bunny. I am so sorry. Ugh. Over here, I just keep some festive soaps and bath bombs. We're waiting for someone to come in my bathroom and stick this tile like here and here. So that's why that's just chilling there right now. So now you come to the second sink. Um, I don't use this sink. It's meant to be for whoever is in this bedroom. In these pineapples, I keep Q-tips and um, cotton pads. I also have some cute little rugs. So this one says I woke up like this. <laughs> this one says flawless. And this is a MAC lipstick one, which I think is super cute because I'm obsessed with makeup. All right, obviously that's my shower and the light is here. This is actually a light for just the shower, which I think is super cool. Now I have some artwork up here, towel, toilet, you know, the good stuff. I keep my hamper here and my toilet paper. Um, I folded this just for the video, so you better appreciate. Now this Ikea 9 drawer is super popular and I use it to keep my makeup in. First up here I have some perfume bottles. I don't have anything in them because they're glass and I'm afraid they're going to break. I'm going to quickly show you my makeup collection, but if you want a more in-depth video on just my makeup, then definitely comment that down below. Okay, sorry this is really messy, but um, basically I keep primers mostly back there. Foundations, concealers, powders, and bronzers, and the Shade and Light Contour Kit here. In this drawer I keep blushes, highlighters, some face palettes, and my setting sprays. This next drawer has all lip products, so I keep lip glosses back here, liquid lipsticks here, and lipsticks here. <laughs> This next super messy drawer, I have my eyeshadow palettes. Here I have like eye products, so lashes and mascaras and eyebrow stuff. This drawer I keep tools in. This drawer is for skincare. And lastly, this drawer just has other makeup pouches for when I travel, and that has nothing in it. <laughs> All right, so this video is over. This video is canceled. I would love if down below you guys commented some things you would like to see on my channel. I would be interested in dance videos, makeup videos, <laughs> vlogging, I don't know, lifestyle videos, like anything you guys would like, please comment down below so I can give the people what they want. If you like this video, you can leave a like down below and possibly subscribe if you want. All right, well, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.